Alright, hello, and today I'm going to show you how to make a forge out of this guy. This is a car wheel. Um, I got new tires, and because I drifted into a curb while it was snowing, uh, this wheel got dented. So I had to get a new one, um, and they charged me 15 bucks to keep it, um, otherwise they would have given me a discount. So I just decided to keep it. I've seen people make uh, forges out of brake drums before, but brake drums I always thought were way too small. This, as you can see, is a lot deeper than a brake drum. Um, I think it will probably make a lot better forge too, but it's going to be the same idea if you've ever seen those videos. Things you're going to need are pipes, and I don't know what they call these things, but it's just like a little stopper, I guess, um, or an end piece. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. <clears throat> you're going to need a T valve, or T piece, I don't know if it's actually a valve. Um, one of these little connector guys, I'm going to go with that, and then an end cap. And then you're also going to need a drain cover. Now, I was a little bit skeptical of, about this at first because I kind of thought it would melt. So as you can see, it's pretty discolored here. Um, what I did was I set it up in my backyard and put a blowtorch to it. And I melted metal with this blowtorch before, but it did not melt this. So same thing with these screws and bolts. Um, I tested all of them, so I know that they won't melt. And I definitely know that this won't melt because it's a very high grade metal. Um, I was just a little skeptical about this, but I'm a lot more confident with it now because where it's going to be is in the bottom of this and so it won't be getting the major parts of the heat. It'll have a fan blowing up to it. Anyway, first thing you're going to need to do is drill some holes. I'll bring this up here so you can see it better. Um, the four larger ones are going to be for that end piece I was showing you um, and then the two smaller ones are for the... sorry. And the two smaller ones are for that drain cap. And what I used to drill those holes for the drainage piece, I used a quarter inch drill bit. And for the rest of it, for this piece right here, I used a 5 16th drill bit. Um, your parts may be a little different, so make sure you just check all the measurements you need. Honestly, I wanted to get a inch and a half to two inch pipe. The largest they had at the hardware store I went to was one and a quarter inch. So I just stuck with that and it works fine, but if you get a little bit bigger one, it definitely wouldn't hurt. Alright, so first thing I gotta do, flip this on its side. And I gotta get these guys in here. Now I have all four of those screws in there. And because of the way this drainage cap goes on with its bolts, you actually have to put this on next. So, I'm gonna slip this through this little hole and put on this little end bolt. And I'm just gonna tighten it by hand so I can show you really quick. As you can see, I just have those four bolts in there and then the two little ones on the side. And that's already holding on that drainage cap. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is slide on this end piece. Also, I guess I should mention um, when I was drilling these holes, all I did was sit this on here and I took a pencil and I drew a mark at each single one so that way I knew where to drill. Now I'm going to uh, tighten up everything with this drill. Alright, and once you have everything tightened, which I suggest you tighten it as much as you can, take this foot long piece. I'll go ahead and screw it up. Next, there's this piece, the T piece. And then there's this divider guy thingy. Double screw. And then there's this little end cap. If you haven't figured out what this end cap is for, any ash that falls down this pipe will go past this hole, which is where your fan or air blow dryer, whatever the heck you use will be. Um, and then you can leave this on so the air won't escape down, but it'll all be pushed up. And then whenever you're done forging, you just unscrew it and drop out all the ash. And now your forge is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this outside and show you what it looks like. All right, so now I'm just gonna set up my fan right up to this hole and I'm just gonna show you how much air is coming through and I have a really weak hair blow dryer so I'll show it to you I had this thing 
pretty much since the dawn of my knife making. And as you can see, it's like splitting down the middle and really melted. But it still works. So thanks for watching this video. If you want to see more tutorials like this, make sure to subscribe. And hopefully I'll have some more videos coming out of knives actually coming out of this forge. And uh, show you how it works. So once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.